Hi. Um, I hope you're having a good day. Today was a much better day for me. Um, I went for a walk today and I listened to a sermon and then I listened to some worship music. And that was really healing for me. Um, prior to that, I actually also went on another walk where I just kind of talked to God and um, I went through past events in my life that I've been suppressing because of trauma. I kind of spoke them out and went through the timeline of it as to where I am now to really look back at like how God has moved in my life and where I am now is such a blessing. And the sermon I talked that I was listening to later that day talked about how the enemy, you know, will come in your thoughts and try to make the blessing seem like um, a distraction or seem like it's a place that's not fruitful. Like, it'll make the blessing that I'm in seem like just not a place I need to be. Like, seem like a place that I need to get out of. But that's not the case. Um, where I am in life now is really answer prayer that I've prayed for many, many years. It's not in the form that I ever would have predicted, but it is still answered prayer. And glory to be to God for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> He's just so good. And there's so many blessings in our life that we tend to miss. Because we're so focused on the things in life that we don't have. Rather on the things in life that we do have. For me, um, I'm focused on the fact that I don't have a car. Or my license, might I add. But what I do have is grandparents and my mom, who are here with me right now, teaching me to drive. I have my grandpa's vehicle I'm using to learn to drive. I have my G2 booked August 28th. Praise the Lord for that. That's so exciting. Um, I've been reading a driving test book that I found online for free. That's been really informative and helpful, and I'm excited to learn more about that. That's amazing. A blessing. Not something that's bad. Not a bad thing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Um, another example in my life would be, I guess, um, stability. Not even, no, no, sorry, not stability. I got stability. Thank you, Lord, for that. But finances. Um, I currently don't make an income. I don't work. I live sort of out of town, so there's not many places for me to work. There is one place that I could work, but I'm not working there. That's my choice. Anyways. Um, and then that's scary, right, because I don't make an income. I'm turning 19 next month. It's stressful. But also, I'm doing right, exactly what God has called me to do in this time of my life right now. And when September hits, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows if I'll, you know, I'm planning on getting a job somewhere full time, which would be awesome. But if God has something else in store with this channel, I'm, then so be it. And praise God for that. And even if he doesn't in that timeline of September and does it at a different time, Again, praise God for that, but honestly taking life day by day because I'm very blessed to live in a home where I don't have to pay rent and don't have to pay for groceries or even really gas money. That is a huge blessing. And I'm not saying this to brag, but I'm just saying not having income is anxiety inducing. Not having a place in town where I can just walk to work or drive a car to work, stressful. However, I am so blessed that I have a place to live with comfortable Christian grandparents who are just so loving and such a huge, huge blessing in my life. That's a blessing, not a bad thing. Do you get the point? We are greatly blessed by God. In almost, in like every aspect of our life, there's a blessing rather than a bad thing, but it's all about our perspective. Um, I've been struggling a lot with spiritual warfare and thoughts and just like negative thoughts. It's been really stressful. But I went home from my walk today, my second walk. The song, um, I, I think it's just called Sea of Victory. Um, and it's so good. And 
the, some of the lyrics were just, the weapons may be formed, but they won't prosper. So the enemy's weapons and tactics against you may be formed, may be sprouted, but they will not prosper. They will not root. They will not become fruitful. They will not prosper. And it said, I'm going to see a victory um, because the power belongs to you, Lord. It's by his strength. I'm going to see a victory because the power belongs to God. Yeah. Yeah. It says, I'm not backing down from any giants because I know how the story ends. That's another lyric. I'm not backing down from any giants because I know how the story ends. Um, spoiler alert, Jesus already won the battle. Um, of end times, all that jazz is going to come back. He's already won. That's already prophesied in the Bible. He's already won. So I'm not going to back down. I shouldn't back down. I'm trying not to back down now. When things that are negative come my way, or these big giants or pillars in my life, whether it's mentally or even physically, that are going on, I'm not going to back down. I'm going to, you know, God willing, walk right through it in Jesus' name, having the armor of God, Holy Spirit guiding me, like, because God's got me, and He's got you. And this world is simply a thing, I mean, created by God, but also... When sin into the world, it's a sinful world that we live in. But I am a spirit that God made and put me into this body for me in my mother's womb. And that's the same for you. We are all created by God, our Father, creator of the universe, creator of the stars, creator of the trees and air, oxygen, gravity, everything that's so awesome. He created it. He created you. And he loves you. And the enemy is doing everything and anything in his power to distract you from God's will for your life and his hand that he has on you and the fact that you are chosen and loved and marked and created and beautiful. And that he just has such amazing plans for you that the enemy will do anything and is doing anything he can to stop them and to distract you and make you doubt. But I'm telling you, if God has called you to do something, please Go through with it. Take a step in faith. I promise you it's so worth it. I would not be where I am today without taking a step in faith, without having my my roots in God, without having my 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 foundation on Jesus. This channel would not be a thing. You watching this video would not be a thing, ever. I would not post it. I would not even have this sort of wit from Jesus. Like This would not be happening. This is all God's grace. Um, and it is hard. I don't even really know a lot of the days that I'm going to post because I get overwhelmed with it. And I shouldn't because it's literally just sharing the good news. And that's such a privilege that I get to do. And I thank you, Jesus, for that. Um, but everything in our life is a blessing. And everything about life is really about perspective. And not to say we don't go through hard things. I've been through hard things. But through that, I leaned on God for the most part. And while doing that, he's led me to where I am today. And he's going to lead me to where I am tomorrow and where I am in a month from now, a year from now. It's all going to be God leading me and I trust him. And I thank him for that and he gets all the glory and all the praise because my life is the way that it is now because of Jesus. And I wouldn't want any other way. So praise God for that. And I just want to say God loves you. You're not alone. The battle's already won. You're going to see a victory in Jesus' name. I declare it over you in Jesus' name. You're going to see a victory. Say it. I'm going to see a victory. Your turn. Yes, you are. Because God's got you and he loves you. And please just stay rooted in God. Spend time with him. Put on the armor of God every single morning and just... Stay rooted in Jesus. Please spend time reading your Bible. Watch a sermon. Maybe watch a Chosen. I love that show. I need to start watching that again. Um, do what you gotta do. You know what you gotta do. If you gotta start going to church after not being for a while, I encourage you to do so. Because um, church is wonderful. It's such a wonderful Christian community. and It can be. It really can be. I love my church. Um, um, yeah. Prayer is very important as well. It's very beautiful. Just talking to God, having a conversation with Him. It doesn't have to be anything big and bold or whatever. It's just it's 
just you and God, you and your Father in heaven. Love the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understandings. Please take all this back to God. He loves you so much and I just really hope that you just let yourself remain in Him and also let yourself feel. If you're going through hard stuff, let it out. Let it out with God. Not to the things of this world. Don't let it out and then distract yourself with your phone. Really let it out. Do what you know you gotta do. Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. He has got you, I promise. You are not alone and every day is a blessing. And God's got you. Okay? I love you. God bless.